Great. We welcome Mark Dillon of Biomed Sciences to the show. Mark, welcome Hello, to Focus. Aaron. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. You make what looks like second skin. Yes, uh, this is a product which we call Silom TSR, which is essentially a, a temporary skin replacement. It's basically an artificial epidermis. Show and me it how goes it works. onto a wound, um, a burn injury, for example, and can be wrapped and put in place, and it mimics the function of skin. And the nice feature about it is that it's non-adherent, so it never sticks more than that to the wound surface. And so when it's removed, eventually, uh, as the skin heals in underneath, it doesn't cause any damage just by lifting the dressing off. What are the applications for this? They must we be use so it, numerous. We use it in burn treatment, and we also use it in cosmetic surgery uh, for laser resurfacing procedures uh, to remove wrinkles. Um, and we're developing next generation versions of the technology now that will have broader applications into more general wound care. And it was on my skin. It felt just like you said, like artificial skin, like, like skin. second skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and so because of it has that stretch, is that because it's, as you were telling me, it's made with a combination of silicon and, and teflon? teflon? Correct. It's a, it's a mixture of silicon and teflon. And uh, we form that into a, a special type of um, polymer blend. And that's what gives it its, its strength and durability, but still has the softness and adhesiveness of the silicone. And, um, that was a technology that um, I developed as part of the Ben Franklin program. Um, over the course of uh, several years uh, at the incubator site on the mountaintop, and we went through the commercialization and development of manufacturing techniques and regulatory affairs and FDA approval and, and that whole process, and introduced the product into the marketplace in the mid-90s. And since then, we've gone on to expand into other product categories, um, more in the area of treating scars that result from wounds. So this product was used on an open wound, but our other products are used for treating scars that result from wounds. So this is a, a sample of a leave of fabric, and it has the same kind of feel to it, but in this case it has a fabric backing on it, and this would be applied to a scar. After the wound first heals, and the scar uh, either is existing or, or uh, we're using this preventatively, and you would take it off once a day, wash it with soap and water and reapply it, and it'll last for four to six weeks or so, and uh, it will actually reduce the appearance of a scar. And um, so we took that basic technology and brought that out into more complex applications, like this product right here, is actually a compression garment that a burn patient would wear. And we've made a, a fabric, a textile material, that has our scar management technology built into it. And we provide that to the companies that make the garments. And so they'll actually stitch it right into the garment that the patient wears. Um, and then that will last for months of use and wow. can even be washed in a washing machine and put in a dryer. Um, or another variation is a rigid thermoplastic splinting material that has our Cylon technology uh, laminated to one side and this would be custom fabricated for a patient with facial burn injuries and in this way we can kind of almost sculpt the skin into the shape that, that, that we want desired result. And you said this product in particular, this is available in drugstores and... It is. Um, all of the major retailers um, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, uh, Walmart. Uh, it's under the brand name ScarAway in those retail outlets, but if you look at the bottom of the box, it says Biomed Sciences, Allentown, PA. And so people may be buying products made in their backyard and not even realizing That's it. That's correct. And we sell these products. Um, we're in 50 foreign countries or so, so it's, it's a global operation. We sell all around the world. How many employees do you have? Uh, we're about 20 people. So we're still a small company, but uh, we have a, a long reach and um, we focus on burn care and burn treatment. It's a bit of a niche market. It's kind of specialty, uh, but it lends itself well to a small company. And how did Ben Franklin help you get where you are today? Well, there were a lot of different ways that they uh, contributed. There was some financial assistance, but um, as Wayne had mentioned earlier, there was um, kind of a, a credibility that, that came along with being accepted into the Ben Franklin program. Just the fact that we were in the incubator facility that potential investors knew that the that our business plan was reviewed that professors had reviewed our technology that our patents were were reviewed by legal teams just gave a, a, an air of credibility that made it much easier to go out and find the 
the venture capital that we needed in order to grow the operation and, and become a success. Mark, thanks for being with us today. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Well, we love